Good morning, and uh, take three. Good morning, and welcome to another episode of That Guy in the Hybrid. Uh, this is early in the morning. It's about 6 a.m., and um, we're just getting the car ready. So what we're gonna do for you guys is we're gonna go check out the sun, by the way. Do some shots of the car in a second. drive up Snakes Pass and hopefully give you a really nice visual day and a drive through of Snakes Pass. Uh, we are going to drive slow, um, when I say slow just at the speed limit at the moment. Um, I still have a back injury um, coupled with now my knees hurting. Um, I'm getting old, it's, it's not great at the moment. Pretty sure very soon I'm just going to need an automatic as a daily but we'll get to it when we get to it. But we'll do some scenic shots, okay? Oh, and one more thing. Don't forget to check out my Instagram, at that guy in the hybrid. Every Friday, we're gonna do a pub quiz. Um, that's car related, and I'm gonna throw some tricky questions in there. So remember to follow me on at that, at that guy in the hybrid um, on Instagram. Right boys, it's coffee time. No Starbucks is open at the moment, so here's some more coffee time. Oh, that one was good. Nice, nice. <laughs> All right guys, well, um, this is the start of the Snakes Pass. Um, we're gonna drive slowly. It's not as busy as we thought. The sun is in the way. Can you pull that up? Is that going to be okay? Is that in your eye? Hopeful, okay. Well, as soon as we turn right on the thingy, it should be fine. Right, um, I don't know if any of the uh, audio recorded beforehand. Oh, I need to overturn it, this Argos. Van thing. Um, hope you guys enjoy. Hope the battery lasts. That's the main thing. Okay, we'll give it a clean. Gen is pretty bad. Cyclists. The regen um, on the IMA battery is really bad. So I'm just gonna leave it in uh, normal mode. And well, welcome to the Snakes 
months. cycle engine it's just a bit yeah powerless I hope you can see how pretty the views are yep, I've run out of IMA battery now so hopefully as soon as we get to the top of this the regen should kick in that my alarm going off. Yeah. There's going to be about four more of those. <laughs> That's alright. So we'll get to the reservoir and then that's where we'll stop it. Obviously you can continue into Sheffield but we're not going to go all the way. Oh, putting it into fifth is probably a bad idea. Yep, bad idea. Car's complaining. Let's put it back into third. Again, doing this in my BMW was much easier. Just because it was just a bit more powerful. I had a much linear torque curve than this does. Stopping points on the left. Um, 
uh, loads of little cafes and little stuff on the left so if you do need to stop cool your brakes or anything else stretch out a bit loads of little places every so often <clears throat> well isn't this interesting hey <laughs> right regen the curse system as some would call it is uh, fully charged but pointless at the moment because we're stuck behind a lorry Wifey Chan, are you okay? Yes, thank you. <laughs> oh. uh, let's see if we can find a place to overtake. Oh, I need the first two cars to overtake in front of me first. When I said I wanted this to be a cruise, I didn't want this to be a cruise at 30. <laughs> Speed limit is 50 on the Snakes Pass, as far as I'm aware. Right. Let's put a bit of space between us and the car in front. Aston Martin, GB11, blown past. God, one day, hey? Should have overtaken this truck ages ago. What? Oh look, it's just on this side. Oh no, is it stuck? Should we stop and help the sheep? Do you remember that time we came to the Saints Pass and there was like sheep on the road? No. Do you not Let's remember? Get out and help the sheep on the way. Was it Saints Pass or was it something else we were coming back from? I think it was something else. I wanted to show you. <laughs> oh, we might have to do this again, Ali. You can't actually see the lorry on this. Oh, can you not? No. That's fine. It's just <laughs> oh, it's so pretty. I need to buy some more GoPros so I can show you like the side views. It's amazing. So this is uh, known as the twisty bit. So once you sort of go past the the bit that's covered in trees, like a tunnel of trees, this is the twisty bit. This is where I would say be very careful because the road is still old. There's a lot of potholes, a lot of little jumps, um, and the road is very twisty. This is where most people, I would say, lose it and crash. Um, Obviously, you're not going to do that at 28 miles per hour, which is what I'm doing at the moment.
might as well just put it into second. I didn't even know trucks were allowed on the ZX Pass, to be fair. I feel like it's too tight and twisty for a truck, but apparently not. Oh, it's pretty though, isn't it? The views. Yeah, it's really pretty. by the scrapes there is a lot of little dips and bumps on the snakes pass but uh, um, right listen this Sandra needs to overtake now so we're, we're past the twisties now that golf's going for it. oh the golf's going for it oh ye I would it was the wrong place to go for it's all right we're gonna chill because to be fair, we're not even that far away from the reservoir at what all. The oh. Should we just put one in the boot? Just take it home and call it ours. Call it Robert the Sheep. Oh look, there's lambs! Do you see the baby lambs? Robert the Sheep. Robert the Sheep, yeah. That's interesting. What else would you name a sheep? Susie. Like every time it would do something wrong, it'd be like, Rob! What are you doing? There you Susie. go. Susie the sheep. Yeah, but that's if it's a girl. What, what if it's a boy? Uh, Can't call a boy sheep Susie. Graham. <laughs> Graham! <laughs> what are you doing? I don't think he quite has the same ring to as Robert. <laughs> Rob! Bob! Bert! Uh, no, I don't like The Americans actually still use Bert, do you think? This bit is very tight again. You'll see the double double lines in the middle of the road. So if you're at this bit, please, for the love of God, do not overtake. Um, it's part of the it's part of the road rules anyway. But there are some people that overtake here, and it is the most dangerous thing. Especially motorbikers, actually. Like if you're on a motorbike, don't overtake here because it's so dangerous. You have to remember, re, remember, remember, remember. You have to remember that uh, Snakes Pass is full of basically three types of people. There's people that are here to, you know, drive Snakes Pass for Snakes Pass. There's people who are here to look at the scenery, so they're going to drive slow. And then there are people who are commuting, so people who commute from Sheffield to Manchester and vice versa. So you're going to meet a lot of different road users here. Stay safe. Stay as safe as you can. Like, if you want to race, take it on the track. Which we will be doing very soon, hey. Put Ellie in a car on track, you want to do Alton Park? Yeah. Alright. Need a dithia. <laughs> I got you. <laughs> Are you calling out a dithia on this video? I did fit in your car. Or are you calling out a did fit in your car or a did fit in my car? Um, your car. <laughs> Don't worry, we'll get your MX5 sorted to the point where uh, it feels as good as this does. This, to be fair, still needs an alignment at the moment. I need to book it in with grin speed. Well, this has been a fun drive, hey.
fast cycle up and down snakes pass i just i genuinely do not know how they do it i cycled for like five minutes the other day and i, and I was out of breath <laughs> Yeah, especially with all the cars that go really fast. <clears throat> so this bit, this is the second bit which is covered in trees. Uh, the road surface is terrible on this bit. Um, so again, just be careful. Make sure your tires are perfect. Make sure. So before snakes pass, up, what I usually do is um, I, I air down my tires a little bit. I haven't done that this morning because it's six in the morning and it's a Saturday. And yeah, but it's probably a good thing because looking at how slow we're going it doesn't matter. But if you're here to drive snakes pass, air down your tires by two or three psi. Honestly, it'll just give you that little bit extra. And just make sure you have proper tyres on. Um, it's perfect as well. God, Snakes Pass has not felt this long ever. <laughs> Two and a half, 30 in, the, in fourth gear, or third gear. Let's put it into fourth and just give the car a bit of. At this point, you're going to start seeing the river on the right hand side. Um, so just be careful. If you are driving by yourself, don't try and look at the river while you're driving. Again, there are loads of places to stop, so if you do want to sightsee, um, stop on one of the bits. Again, Slakes Pass, I know it is a 50 road, but most of the time you can only do about 40 anyway because people are either going slow or people are not, people you don't, you don't really drive well. You come up here, struggle to drive. Oh, this is the drive. Going. Is it going? They're going. Not very quickly, but they're going. You just went and overtook on a blind hill. Right, it's my go then. No, oh, you're going to the same thing. I'm not going to overtake on a blind hill. I can't overtake now anyway because there's a line on this side. Now I can overtake. Oh, I can't see past him. It's the same amount of life. Right, let's go around this corner and overtake. Snakes Pass behind a lorry. Alright, parking ticket paid for. Let's go and put this on the dash. So we are at Derwent Valley Reservoir. Just parked up the car. Um, Ellie's gone down. She's a bit dirty. Ellie's gone down and sat down somewhere. So let's give you a little view of everything. It's 
really pretty. So if you're coming down to the Peak District, I would definitely recommend stopping off here. Parking is £3 for two hours or £5 for all day. stuck uh, behind a lorry. It was alright, wasn't it? Um, stopped yeah. over at Darlet now just so we could uh, empty our bowels. <laughs> Poop. Ew. <laughs> Why do you? happens. Um, uh, and yeah, we're going to head off now um, and go back home. Yeah. Here, enjoy a little bit. Ten seconds of whatever's behind us.